Hey guys, this is Emeek77, or aka uh, Apple Soldier, and uh, Apple Shake Guru, both, both of those are my accounts, so you can get Macverse PC on uh, Apple Soldier account, and all your tutorial needs on Apple Shake Guru account. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about teleportation. Now, a long time ago, I had a teleportation video on how to teleport teleport in Final Cut Express and Final Cut Pro. Now, um, I was the first one that I know of on YouTube to come out with this teleportation tutorial. So, I figured I'd redo it for you guys. Because since I've come out with the first one, there's been a lot of other people that's been posting tutorials and stuff. And I just wanted to redo my tutorial, use my own media, and um, show you how I do it and how I've always done it. So here is our project, as you can see here. Let me play it for you, and you'll see what we're going to end up with. Let me get rid of uh, this wireframe. Okay, I'm going to play it, and I'm going to come in, sit down, and I'm going to teleport out of the chair. As you see, I'll come in, I'll sit down, here I go. And I'm gone. Pretty cool, huh? So that's the effect we're going to do today. So let's get started. I'm going to go up to File, New Sequence. Uh, let's double click our new sequence to get a fresh timeline, like so. Okie dokie. Now, what we're going to do is I have my movie. Let me bring my movie in. We don't need any audio, so I'm going to get rid of my audio. Okay, here's my original movie of just me sitting there in front of the computer. I come in and just sit down. Okay? So what I need to do is grab a steel frame. As you can see at the beginning of the video, there is nothing going on. I'm not in the film. I'm not in, in the picture anywhere. I can. It's a good place to take a steel frame. So I'm going to go up to uh, Modify, Make Freeze Frame. And that's going to make a freeze frame right here. As you can see, then you can go up and you can specify how long you want the freeze frame to be right here. I made mine 10 seconds. Okay. Take your freeze frame and drag it down into your media browser. And right here is mine. If I double click it, it loads it up right there. It is, as you can see, there's the steel frame. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make a copy of this clip. So if I hold Option Shift, click and drag up, I'll make a copy of this clip. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the very end here. And I'm going to go back two seconds. Okay, and there I went back two seconds. I'm going to hit the P key to get the pin tool. And I'm going to go to my timeline and click on my little opacity marker. And it'll leave a little diamond, as you can see. Now, if you can't see these lines on your clip, go down here and hit this opacity button here. This right here. As you can see, those lines are gone now. I push it, and they're, they're back. So now I made this um, opacity marker here. Now I'm going to take my, my playhead and I'm going to go back two more seconds. Right there. And I'm going to hit another, place another marker. Okay, now I have a marker here. I have a marker here. And we're good to go. I'm going to hit the A key to go back to my pointer. Okay. So now that we've done this, let's take our first little marker here and pull it straight down like that okay so let's double click this clip to load it in the viewer and we're gonna add a blur go to effects find your blur folder get your wind blur and drop your wind blur on your top clip now when you go to filters you'll see a um, wind blur adjustments so we're gonna make our direction the same we're going to make our radius 50, and we're going to make our steps about 10. Okay? So that puts a wind blur on our clip. Now, also what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a mask. So go down to your mat folder. Grab your mask shape. Drag and drop it on your top clip. Also drag and drop the mask feather. Now under your filters tab, you'll see you have a mask shape and a mask sh feather. I want to make my shape oval. 
Um, I'm going to center it over me. I'm going to take the scale and go up with it. Like so. You go down here to where I can see. As you can see, where the opacity marker is turned down, I'm looking at the bottom clip. Because this top clip is totally, you know, you can see through it. So i got to go down here to where I can see some of my clip. Now you can see right here my mask. Okay? So I can adjust it. You can see my vertical scale, horizontal scale. And I want to cover myself up pretty good. Make it as big as you have to, you know. Okay, there we go. Now my mask is covering me. I want to make my mask feather about 22. And that feathers out the edges. As you can see, the edges just disappear. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is use my steel clip that, I've, that I made. So what I'm going to do is take my steel clip, take your playhead and put it on the second opacity marker, or the very first one we made. Take your steel frame and drag and drop it right there at the that opacity marker, as you can see. Okay? Now we have our steel frame on top of our movie. So now what we're going to do is hit our P key to get our pen tool. Go about halfway through and make a pen mark. And then make another one at the very beginning and pull that marker straight down. Let me zoom into my timeline here. And what you'll end up with is this right here. You'll see about halfway through our opacity marker comes down and meets and it looks, should look just like this. You have two movies. You have two movies and your freeze frame right on top of your other two movies at the end. And your opacity should come right down like this right here. Okay? So, it's, I'm going to have to render this. As you can see, look at my CPUs. They are completely maxed out. And the reason for this is because, as you can see, I'm batching coding a crap load of videos for my new sites. And this thing is being just, just running constantly. And you can see I'm using 6 gigs of RAM, 7 free, and my CPUs are just maxed. So I'm doing a screen capture, a tutorial, and rendering all at the same time here so uh, I my Mac is kind of busy at the moment and it might be a little slower than normal but it looks like to me she's moving along pretty quick so uh, let me get this rendered out here and uh, don't even look like I'm gonna have to edit out the video I think we're gonna be fine as long as I can make it under that 10 minute mark that 10 minute mark is really really a limitation for a lot of us YouTube users. Now I agree that the 10 minute, sometimes videos go over 10 minutes, you lose interest, yah, yah, yah. But videos like these, like learning and teaching videos, they kind of need longer than 10 minutes a lot of times. So here we are, 95%, we're done rendering. So let's go to our beginning here and let's play it back and see what it looks like. And I'm gone, that's it. That's how you do the teleportation effect in Final Cut Pro or Express. All the filters and everything should work the same in both versions. If you have any questions at all, get a hold of me. Check out my brand new redone website at www.finalcutstudioschool.com. All the tutorials and Mac versus PC videos that are not posted on YouTube are there. Just give me time to post my tutorials on YouTube. It's going to take a while. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.